The Desert Festival is now a thing. You'll get this letter in the mail eventually telling you that there's a three-day festival in Calico Desert once you have the bus in the desert unlocked. Now this festival has a lot of stuff in it, so let's cover it all. First up, there's the Adventurer's Guild Challenge Booth. This basically just assigns quests that you can do in the Skull Caverns to earn the Calico Eggs, which are the currency of the event. You can go to the Skull Caverns, fight some enemies, mine, you know, the basic loot. There's a suspicious looking chef who gives you a unique food item depending on what ingredients you put in. You can eat these food items once a day and they give you buffs like speed and attack power and other stuff. Then of course there's the classic desert merchant who sells pretty much all the same stuff except a dark piano and I don't know if these beds are new but the dark piano I feel like is new. Then there's Willie's challenge which was just catch a certain amount of fish for more calico eggs. Then there's also this little Krobus looking guy who has a shop where you can buy a bunch different items like mystery boxes, a bunch of vanity, some useful stuff like bombs and eggplant parmesan, and some more rotating stock. There's also this cactus man at the bottom who gives you a free cactus. These cactuses are all unique and look interesting. There's also a little Emily booth where Emily will give you a special outfit every day. It's an interesting little cutscene. I got turned into a little raincoat guy. There's also the Traveling Merchant, who sells, I think, the same rotating stock as usual. And a little Question Guy, who gives you a series of questions about the game that if you answer all correctly, you get a bunch of eggs. There's also a trash can that you can rummage through to get Calico eggs. Linus is also there. Then there's this little racetrack with little animals. Escargo, King Sting, some cactus guy whose name I forgot, and Shoe Biscuit, a little horse and a shoe. If you've been on the right little animal in the race and it wins, you get a bunch of Calico eggs. Now if you're not sure that you're going to win, you can go over to the shady guy in the corner, who for a small price of one calico egg, will rig the race by making one of the other racers completely fail, or sabotaging them or something. I used the method to make King Sting win, and well, I got 20 calico of it. Yeah. There's also the shrouded figure teleporter guy from the night market, except I think he has a different colored cloak. Lastly, there are unique shops set up by the NPCs that rotate every day. During my v desert festival, I got Guile, or whatever his name is, selling stuff like Fiddlehead Fern and Ten Staircase. There's also Shane selling a new unique chicken decal. Elliot, who sells Elliot's Pencil, which is actually an unimplemented weapon, which has now been implemented, which is really cool. And Penny selling Penny's Fryer. So it seems like all the NPCs who have unimplemented weapons now have the weapons implemented into the game, which is cool. Then there's Clint, who sells 100 copper ore and 100 iron ore for only 2 and 4 eggs. And Jazz, who sells rabbit's foot and magic rock candy for 300 eggs. Finally, another way to get the candy. Overall, a pretty cool festival. If you made it this far in the video, then click the subscribe button. Just subscribe. Imagine if you were a small YouTuber with less than 2,000 subscribers trying to grind his way out in the YouTube economy. Wouldn't you want your viewers to subscribe? I bet you would. So subscribe or I will find you. And when I find you, I will look at you sternly in disappointment at the fact that you didn't subscribe to the channel. Anyways, bye.